Hello YouTube, I'm Sri Tips. Welcome to my channel. And today what I'm going to talk about is how to make a profit with precious metals. You may have seen some of my previous videos where I used computer scrap and e-scrap to uh, extract the gold that those uh, various types of scrap contain. And you may have also noticed that the amount of gold that I got from that material was very small and the amount of waste that was produced from uh, processing those materials was very high. The yield was low, the amount of waste was high and I bought the scrap on eBay. Uh, it uh, didn't produce a profit for me, it produced a loss in just about every case. Uh, I used that material to make those videos because that type of scrap right now is very popular. And so this is the only reason I used it to make the videos because that type of scrap is popular. Uh, the only real way that I can see of in my experience to make a profit with that type of scrap is to get a whole bunch of it. I mean, you're talking tons of it and to get it for practically nothing or for free. My wife and I started in a business where she would uh, find precious metals for me and I would sell the precious metals on my uh, eBay store. And then I began to wonder, what do these people do with this metal that I'm selling them? I would take all the stones out, clean it up real nice, and put it in different groups according to the carat of the metal. And the silver. I'd clean it all up and then I'd sell it on uh, eBay. But I began to wonder what do they do with this metal that I sell them. And so I started thinking about trying to refine some of it myself. And that's how I got into refining. The various types of e-scrap and that type of material was a uh, fun experience and I gained some knowledge and experience from doing those videos. But my main source of um, profit from precious metals comes from the carrot scrap that I refine. In fact, I don't refine very much e-scrap at all. My primary uh, type of metal that I refine is carrot scrap and sterling silver. Those are the metals that can make a profit. Uh, for someone who's interested in uh, learning how to do this uh, refining business. And I learned early that you make your profit when you buy. Okay, sitting here all bagged up is about a month or so accumulation of metals that my wife has been able to find from thrift stores uh, the Goodwill, consignment shops, and yard sales. And I'm going to go through a little bit of this here to show you exactly what, what I got. Uh, this is about a month's accumulation. And I've just been saving it up. And uh, I'm going to go through it here quickly and show you exactly what's in here. There's some gold chains, some silver. There's a watch there. I, re I put new batteries in those watches and try to sell those. And there's some gold plated material in there as well. And I'll just, I'll save that. And put that into a bin and accumulate that and then run it through a sulfuric acid stripping cell. There's a bunch of uh, mixed metals that my wife has been through. Some silver, some gold, some gold filled, gold plated material. And uh, what I'm going to do is I go through every bag here and uh, sort through it piece by piece. There's some gold chains, some silver. Nice rings. There's some nice stuff here that's uh, valuable like it is uh, that can be refurbished, cleaned up, and resold. And what I'll do is I'll put that stuff on my eBay store. Here's some silver material. A bag full of mixed stuff. There's a little frog there. He's made out of 14K gold. I remember he, she showed me that. Uh, another bag full of stuff. Here's a bunch of silver bracelets, 
There's some gold earrings and a gold ring. Those are 14K. I remember her showing the, those to me. Uh, here's some assortment of material here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all this stuff here, bag by bag, and sort it all out and test with acid where needed to determine exactly what kind of metals the uh, the scrap contains. There's a bag of watches here. They can refurbish those, sell those. More carrot scrap, more silver. Some watches and some carrot scrap. Oh, these are some nice items here. This is a uh, a compact made out of silver. I've already tested it. It's got some enamel uh, pictures on it there. Got a matching comb. I'll be listing that on my uh, eBay store. Here's some metals that she bought at a yard sale. I think one of those rings is 14K gold. And there's some silver in there. Here's some more carrot gold. And, you know, she just throws it in my bag. I don't, my bag just keeps getting heavier and heavier. And uh, then when I go to clean it out like I am now, there's a 14K gold earring. Here's a chain made of gold. When that bag gets heavy enough, I'll go ahead and take all my metals out and sort through them one at a time. Testing with acid. There's a bunch of carrot scrap up in there. Holy cow, here's a whole bag full. I think that's all carrot scrap. Some more stuff. Here's some more pieces. There's a couple of 14K gold rings with stones in them. Like I said, some of this stuff I'll clean up and uh, list it on my eBay store. Here's a 14K gold watch. Some 14 and 10 karat gold, white gold. And here's a nice bag of gold material. Here's some more. This is all carat gold. And this, I believe, in my opinion, based on my experience, this is all silver stuff here. Silver bracelets and necklaces. But based on my experience, this is where the money is made. Uh, is in the carrot scrap. And what I'm going to do is go through all this, like I said, sort it all out, see exactly what I got in here, and then, we'll, oh wow, here's a big bag of carrot scrap. That's all 14 and 10K gold in there. Anyway, I'm going to go through this and sort all this out piece by piece, and then uh, go from there. I almost forgot, uh, this is the silver that she's been getting. i just been throwing it in the uh, in the drawer in here, saving it up. And my plan is to uh, make a silver refining video, show exactly how to process all this. Maybe make a uh, video that shows how to uh, uh, refine the silver, how to process it, and how to refine it. That woman is amazing, man. You ever find a woman like my wife that brings you home gold and silver every day? Man, you better hang on to her. I can't believe her sometimes. This woman, she's been doing it for 20 years now, maybe maybe longer. But she, uh, she can spot an overlooked piece of uh, gold jewelry in a, uh, a thrift store jewelry case at 20 paces. I've seen her do it. So see, there's gold sitting over there. We'll be good six, eight, ten steps away from the place, and she'll go, there's a piece of gold. I can see it from here. She'll go over and ask him, say, let me see that, and pull it out. And sure enough, it's uh, gold or silver, one of the two. But, uh, all right, let's just get down to the end of it, I guess. This is a bunch of silver that she's just been bringing home and throwing at me and I just been uh, saving it up so probably make a separate video on the silver refining but 
estimated, you know, with spot gold at around thirteen hundred right now and silver at about sixteen dollars. Uh, there's probably a good six, eight thousand dollars worth of metal here or so. This type of scrap is where the money is made. Uh, the e scrap, that's all fine and dandy and fun to do, but uh, this type of metal uh, is where you uh, you make your profit. Okay, I've got uh, some bins over here that I use to separate the metals. I've got one marked 18K, I've got one marked 10K, I've got one marked 14K. This is silver. I've already been through and cleaned all this out. Took all the uh, non-silver metals off of it and cleaned it all up. So that's uh, silver that's ready to be processed. I've got a bag of gold filled here stuff. I just take any gold filled stuff that I find and I throw it in this bag. So that's what I'm going to do for you right now. I'm going to go ahead and get started processing all this scrap right now. Okay, I've been working on this for about five hours now, and I had to take a break. My back was killing me. Uh, this is the scrap that I've let accumulate for about the last uh, 30 days or so. Most of this is going to be silver stuff. I still got to sort all through this. I'm trying to get through the gold stuff right now. So far, I've got, uh, this is all 14K gold. About three grand worth right there. That's all 10K gold, probably another grand or so. And this is 18K gold. I got a whole big, more bags of it to go through here. This is all carrot scrap. Here's some more. Here's a gold watch. I got a whole bunch of stuff up here that I got to untangle and go through. That looks like a gold chain right there. Probably is. My wife gets all this stuff for me and uh just keeps putting it in my bag over here i got a bunch of silver stuff that she's been getting me she just keeps stuffing it in my bag until it gets too heavy and i gotta sit down and do something about it this is a bunch of silver pieces that i set aside i want to try to clean those up and resell them here's some more silver stuff that's nice too nice to be scrapped so i save that and, and then uh try to sell it some nice ruby rings there. This is all gold stuff here, carrot gold stuff. It's just too nice to be scrapped. I'm going to take it and clean it all up, make it just right, and uh, sell it. Look at them Peridot earrings, man. Nice. White K or uh, 14K white gold with uh, nice big Peridots in them. Peridot, however you say that. And uh, this is where the money is to be made. I mean, uh, refining the uh, computer scrap and all that, that's fun. But it just doesn't have any uh, gold content to it. This is all going to be up around 50% yield when I uh, calculate how much metal I got here. I can plan, you know, if I got 500 grams, I can expect about 250 grams of pure gold out of it. So this is where the money is to be made, right here. The carrot scrap, the sterling silver stuff. And uh, I guess the first thing you got to do in order to be able to be successful in this is marry a little gal from North Carolina like I did almost 40 years ago. And uh, she's the reason I get to do this. Without her, uh, I'd be doing things much different. So here's, some, here's the catches that I got. for. Uh, I save all my catches. These are all gold catches. 14 karat gold catches. Save all that stuff. That all can be resold. And I got some silver here too. Same thing. So on with the uh, on with the sorting process. Yeah, just when I thought I was getting close to being done, I uh, 
I found another bag that I forgot about. It's all full of uh, carrot gold. Got to sort through all that. Well, we finally got the uh, all the stuff sorted out here. I still got a ton of silver over here that I got to go through, but I got all the gold sorted out. Here's my 14k gold. This is all 10k gold, and this is my 18k gold. I'm gonna refine that up into a nice bar. This stuff is all stuff that was just too nice to uh, to tear up. I'm going to go ahead and clean all that up and uh, get it real nice looking and list it on my eBay store. And this is stuff that I've already got listed on the store. Uh, here's a bag of silver. This is all nice silver stuff that's in real good shape. And I'll clean that all up and get that listed. And then here's scrap silver that I just cleaned up, took all the metal out of it, or the uh, non-silver metal out of it steel springs and so forth and this is all my uh, sterling silver stuff what I'll do with this stuff here is I'm gonna make a separate video on how to how to work with all this stuff but uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and refine this uh, gold into a nice pure bar here are my calculations to uh, determine how much silver I needed to add to that carrot scrap and uh, I had to do it in two batches because there was so much of it uh, but anyway Here's my gold yields that I'm counting on for a total of about 203.9 grams of pure gold or 6.55 troy ounces of 999 fine gold when I get done. Here's the gold that's been uh, encoded with silver and now what I'm going to do is go out and, uh, and uh, dissolve out all the base metals and the silver with nitric acid. Got the inquarted gold now on some low heat, medium heat rather, and I've got it uh, covered with distilled water. Now I'm going to add some nitric acid here and dissolve out the uh, silver and the base metals. in the day okay here is a wedding band and a gold ring I don't know if that's a diamond I hope it is a diamond okay then I got this uh, cartouche I got that then I got the sterling silver bracelet with 18 karat gold on it <laughs> okay as you can see she came in like a tornado fresh from a new sale today she got these pieces of sterling here here's some uh, gold pieces she got here's a uh, Titac that she got it's got about uh, four millimeter diamond in it this is gold pin here with silver this is a cartouche made out of 22k gold here's 14k gold earrings with uh, white sapphires in them Here's a uh, gold necklace, 14k for 10 bucks. Here's a pair of gold rings here for 20 bucks that she just picked up. These are diamond earrings she just bought for six dollars. Here's a little uh, a charm that says "Special Mother" on it, and then we got some uh, assorted earrings and cufflinks in here that are 14k for 25 bucks. So, like I told you, that woman is incredible. Okay, the solution 
or the gold has been on here this boiling is the eighth, now. The eighth boiling nitric acid treatment that I've done. I'm going to pour this uh, acid off and uh, everybody says the color of money is green. I say the color of money is brown. That's my brown gold in the bottom of our reaction vessel there. Okay, here is my gold. It has been treated with uh, hot dilute nitric acid treatments, eight of them. And uh, what I'm going to do now, rather than refine this gold, I, I would normally refine this gold right now. But rather than do that, since this gold is going in to a big refiner, I sell my metal like this to a big refiner. And rather than uh, going through the expense and trouble of refining this, because all they're, all they're going to do is throw it in with their next batch and re-refine it anyway. So I'm just going to melt the gold that's been treated with nitric acid and had all the base metals and all the silver removed out of it and uh, I'm just going to put this in a melt dish and melt it up into a uh, a bar and send that in Okay, we've got the bar of gold done. The expected total yield was 203.9 grams. My actual yield here is 201.2 grams. Here's our uh, bar of pure gold. A little BB came over afterwards and stuck to it with a little bit of flux. So I'm going to include that with the weight. It was 201.2 uh, grams of 24K pure gold. That equals 6.47 troy ounces. Spot price of gold right now is around 1300. So if you take the uh, troy ounces times 1300, the value of that gold is 8411. My refiner that I send it to, he pays 98% of spot. So you take the spot value of the gold, multiply it by 0.98, and that's what I'll receive. Okay, before we uh, start asking questions about this uh, I know one question will be why didn't I just send in the carrot scrap without refining it or without giving it those nitric acid treatments and the answer is the carrot scrap contains silver and platinum group metals and unless you specify and pay a fee to the refiner they won't give you credit for those they just keep those and so by uh, treating this carrot scrap with encoded gold and uh, hot nitric acid treatments, I get to keep 
the platinum group metals and the silver that was in the carrot scrap. Okay, the next question that might come up is why didn't I refine the gold after I treated it with the hot dilute nitrate treatments? And the answer for that is it's not necessary. Unless this gold is going to a customer or someone who plans on keeping it, keeping it for an investment, there's no need to go through the expense and time of, of refining the metal to high purity. Uh, since it's going into a big refiner, he's going to give me credit for it at uh, the percentage of pure gold, which is going to be about 992 to 998 on this. It's not going to be 999. You can see it's got a little bit of a frosty finish to it. And uh, that's because there's going to be a, just a touch, traces of contamination with, uh, with probably some silver mostly. But there's just really no need to go through the time and expense to refine that to high purity if I'm just going to send it to the refiner. He's just going to throw it in with his next batch of gold and refine it again. Anyway, okay, and finally the big question that's on everyone's mind uh, on this video is how much profit did you make? And uh, without going into too much detail on a public uh, media like this, I can guarantee you that I paid way less than $8,200 for all that gold. Uh, probably in the neighborhood of uh, maybe three to 5000 roughly, something like that. Uh, anyway, it's fun to play with the catalytic converters. It's fun to play with those trim circuit card fingers. The uh, Pentium Pro CPUs, fun. The uh, cell phone SIM cards, all that stuff was fun and interesting to do. But I didn't do any of those videos to try to make a profit from the gold that I recovered from that material. Those videos were made strictly for the experience and to demonstrate how the metal can be extracted from that type of scrap. I didn't intend to make profit from those uh, materials. This is where I make my profit. It's with the carrot scrap. This is what keeps my lights on, keeps food on the table, keeps me uh, going with these other videos. And this, this profit from this metal right here and the profit that I get from my eBay uh, store will enable me to keep uh, producing videos like this so that I can post them to YouTube so that we can all learn together about the fascinating world of refining precious metals. That'll conclude this video. Thanks for watching.